It's your boy Superman 2000. I'm back in the office. I'm studying for this exam. Doing well getting ready for the CPA exam. But I, I just saw that Jermaine Durandamine has been stripped of our title. I knew this was coming. I said it would happen because she didn't win a fight Chris Cyborg. And for right now with the promotions, especially with the UFC, it's all about the money. If you're the champ, you have to defend the belt. Now, funny, Conor McGregor was, hasn't been stripped of his as yet, I guess because he's agreed to come back and defend it at some point. Not the, you know what I'm talking about, the more recent belt. Yeah. So we'll see how that works out. I'm going to keep a close eye on this. She said she had no idea she was being stripped of the belt. But um, like I said before, that belt is going to wind up around Chris Cyborg's waist and it'll probably stay there a good little while and so the Brazilians now have Amanda Nunes, Chris Cyborg and then I guess uh, maybe after Frankie Edgar beat Max Holloway then Jose Aldo will beat him that's what somebody said in one of the commentaries I'm not sure but uh, we'll see how it works so we'll see how I knew what's going to happen and this is going to serve as a warning to all the other champs who feel hey they can duck fights or pick and choose the fights that they want uh, in terms of who they fight and that excuse I'm not going to fight cheaters is not going to fly because no Bisping is going to have to fight Yoel Romero and that should be a nice little warning to him alright guys um, this is my study break is over I'm getting back to the action I got another video coming up about boxers now I said I would never do a video about uh Conor McGregor versus Mayweather again which I'm not gonna do which I don't plan to do but I have an, another video uh, and I'm doing and it's about when MMA fighters become boxers the damage that it does and why it's more dangerous for them because of the effect it has on their body when they cut weight and then coming from cutting weight and going three rounds versus cutting weight and going a full 12 rounds. It's a whole different thing. And I think what's happening to some of these guys is that their body is a dehydrated. That is a reduction in spinal fluid. And it's almost, I wish I had it, a glass here. It's almost as if you have an orange in an empty glass with no water. And it bounces around. So the brain gets torn. They get brain tear and tissue damage because of that. You rehydrate in MMA and you got three... Solid rounds, that's good. In boxing, you rehydrate and you got 12 solid rounds. And then the body has to adjust to that, that curve. And it, it, it's very, it's a vicious, you know what I mean? It's these guys, and they, they sweat and they sweat and they go through a whole heap of fluid in those 12 rounds. And I think that's that, that's that, that, that's, that's something that um fighters who transition from uh, mixed martial arts to boxing, they really should be aware of. Now, guys like Alistair Overeem, a guy like him, it would be fairly easy for because he has experience uh, in kickboxing and, and um, boxing. So, so he, he his body, he, he his, his camp would understand how something like that would work. But there are other guys out there who are taking a chance and not having the right approach and might possibly getting hurt. So I'm, I'm going to talk about them in my next video. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep the video short. I see I'm on my three-minute mark. My study breaks almost over to... I knew Jareen Narandami was going to get stripped of the title. I said it. I call it. I feel bad because I really wanted to see her fight Chris Cyborg. So now I guess she's going to go back down to try and fight Amanda Nunes, which probably upset Dana White. So maybe she's not going to get a title shot anyway. She'll probably get bounced around in the division for a while before she prove herself and then get a chance for the title. All right, guys, that's my two cents from the fight here. Peace out.